So the professor has introduced Pascal's triangle. Let us now see some fun and cool facts on it. So all of the numbers here in this Pascal's triangle represents the binomial coefficients. Uh, let me now start with the facts. The second diagonal, this one as you can see, goes on as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. And this diagonal represents the natural numbers. Each row, the first row 1, the second row 1, 1, the third row 1, 2, 1, the fourth row 1, 3, 3, 1 and so on. The sum of the numbers in each of the rows comes up to 2 to the n. So 1 is 2 to the 0, 1 plus 1 is 2 to the 1, 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 4 which is 2 square, 1 plus 3 plus 3 plus 1 is 8 which is 2 cube. 1 plus 4 plus 6 plus 4 plus 1 is 16 which is 2 to the 4 and so on. As you observe it represents a power of 11 also. Now 1 is 11 to the 0. As you can see the numbers themselves 1 and 1 is 11 here 11 to the 1. You can see a 121 here which is 11 square. You can see a 1331 here which is 11 cube and so on. Isn't this interesting? You can also see that the triangle is symmetric. What do I mean by symmetric? If you keep a mirror on 1, 2, 6, 20 and 70 that is on this line if you keep a mirror what you have on the left hand side is same as what you have on the right hand side. It is symmetric. We also see that the Fibonacci sequence is formed here. How? You have a 1 here, a 1 here and then 1 plus 1 is 2 here. Now 1 plus 2 is 3 here. 2 plus 3 is 5 here, so 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8 and so on. So the Fibonacci sequence is seen like this. Now, observe this diagonal. What you see here is, consider these two elements. 1 plus 3 is 4, which is 2 squared. Now these two elements is 6 plus 10 which is 16, this is 4 square, 15 plus 21 is 36 which is 6 square, so we got 2 square, 4 square and 6 square. So all the numbers here on this diagonal, as you can see if you take the sum of consecutive numbers, you get them as square numbers. So this was another fact. So these were some of the cool facts on the Pascal's triangle. I hope this was interesting.